Hello to all the humans out there. I'm doing a static video for once. And I'm whispering because I don't want to be loud with it. I have a message, a very important message to the Americans from my grandma. Here it is. The 2024 election is today. And there's still time to vote. I know some of you are trying to decide, but what if you choose a dictator and then you will regret it for the rest of your life and the life of your family? Ask yourself, do I want to live under a regime like Putin's Russia, or Kim Jong-un or Viktor Orban's countries where they participate in a mock voting election every four years, but the dictator chooses the winner? Do you want to raise your kids under a president who disrespects and hates women? Do you want your, your kids to lie every time they open their mouths for, for them to tell that President Trump lies and, and why they have to tell the truth when he doesn't? Leaders who have a stage presence can take over children's lives. And what are you going to do? Nothing. If Trump wins the, dem the presidency again, we are going to have a lot of confused young people because the MAGA guys are not real men. Trump and his cohorts are just have they have confused our young men already by trying to teach them how to be men by treating women badly and talking about women in such disgusting ways. Remember that real men have morals, good character, and respect all women. After this ordeal and the trauma that Trump has caused for the last nine years, we need real men and to get other good men together and form a mentorship program and teach young men how to become good strong men and not follow a cult leader and think for themselves. I love my country because I was born and raised in the United States. I am not going to stand by and let a racist pro-Hitler supporter take over my country. It is time to vote for people who share our visions of the United States. Never vote for people that do not have your interests because no, because no one is going to save us. We have to save ourselves. I want to ask everyone, are you tired, exhausted, hurt, stressed, and tired of a of a bunch of angry maca people a bunch of angry january 6 protesters if you are vote like your life depends on it in these final hours of the race and it does vote kamala harris and the democratic party now do not let magas steal your life because they will and they do not care there these are the ways that trump and the maga right are like that thief that come in the night and stay your life and you know they do it by giving police officers complete federal immunity after they kill you because they know that there will be no consequences for their actions if they do that and they execute prisoners on death row even if they're innocent it's happened already A recent case so it just happened they have a lot during trump's era And they, you know, they have to also be using the army and national guards to put down protesters that that don't that uh, tell Trump and his administration that they are wrong. He is on the record for saying that. Now, women all over the United States will continue to die because of the fall of Roe versus Wade. Trump and his administration are going backwards. However, we have a chance to go forward with Madam President Vice Hair, Madam, Madam Vice President Harris. When you go into that voting booth in these last hours, vote for all of us and choose the light, not darkness. Good luck and do the right thing. P.S. Remember, bullies are weak and get other people to do their dirty work. Stay safe out there, people. Goodbye. Oh, and one last thing. This is the dude y'all want to vote for? 
tell people on the right? I'm like, look, look at how, look at how fluffy she looked with her hubby. Just so much warmth. As opposed to like this. I don't know, man. What's he doing with that mouth? He better close that mouth. And just look at how warm she look. Like, come on, dude. You know who to vote for. You know.